thank you all. Um, the speeches you've heard today were all given by phenomenal and distinguished people that are so accomplished and so talented. People that are so exceptionally well-spoken and have probably so much more experience than I do speaking to crowds of people like you. None of those things really apply to me. I'm, I'm just me. <laughs> I don't have some fancy speech prepared. I'm, I'm just a Palestinian undergraduate student at U of T. I don't have any cool skills. What do you mean, just? <laughs> I don't have any cool skills or accomplishments yet um, that make me deserving of an audience like this. I'm, I'm, I'm just Palestinian. <laughs> So when things like this happen, when we witness the blatant silencing of pro-Palestinian voices in academia, it affects me as a Palestinian much differently than it affects other people. To some, their support of the censure, rightfully so, stems from a place of anger at the fact that a public institution is playing favorites and picking which gets a platform at the university and what doesn't. But it's so much more than just that to me. To me, this kind of thing validates one of my deepest fears. The fear that I cannot be vocal about my identity and be successful. Yes. Hey. 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 If you've never felt like your identity could threaten your position at an institution, you're in luck. You are at an institution that respects you and makes room for you. It gives you a platform and it gives you a seat at the table. Palestinians and our allies aren't always as lucky. And the rescinding of Dr. Azarova's hiring offer is a prime example of that. You know, this fear that us Palestinians have is instilled in us at a very young age. It starts with something as simple as going on a family, family vacation. You go to Europe and you get in a cab. The taxi driver is trying to make small talk and asks your dad, Oh, where are you from? My dad's too scared to say Palestine. He says Jordan. And it, that makes me really angry. Like, Whenever my parents see me at protests or see me being like active in a Palestinian club on campus, they call me and tell me, tone it down, like, you know, calm down, you don't wanna anger some people. And it makes me angry, you know? Like, I'm not angry at them. I love my parents and I know they're only trying to look out for me, but I can't help but feel so angry, not at them, but for them. Why am I not allowed to be Palestinian? Yeah. Why am I? Yeah. 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 Woo! Woo! Palestine. Yeah, why am I not allowed to chant that? Free Palestine! <laughs> why am I not allowed to pursue a job in academia just because of my identity? Why does some dude with a lot of money get to decide what I can and can't be, what I can and can't say? Yeah. How is that fair? Honestly, like, how is this not angering more people? Do people not realize how fundamentally discriminatory this whole situation has been? Yes! Like it absolutely boggles my mind that there are some people who could have been here but ignorantly chose not to. Shame! Shame. Yeah, shame! shame. <laughs> Do you not recognize how horrible this all actually is? Like I'm speaking to you as just one Palestinian student that goes to U of T. Like there's what? 93,000 students that go to this university. Do the people think there's only 10 Palestinian students? Even if there's 10, we all deserve a seat at the table. Hey, hey. You are me you are me you miss. Palestine does exist. Palestine does exist. You are me in case you miss. You are me in case you miss. Palestine does exist. Palestine does exist. You know, as Palestinians, we're constantly having to educate people about our struggles. And let me tell you, it is exhausting. How are you asking me to explain between which ribs the blade is when the knife is still in my back? I shouldn't have to be here. I shouldn't have to organize a whole rally to convince people to care about my rights as a student. As a human being. As a human being. tell you of the admin what it's already supposed to know. Yeah. Academic freedom is a right. A right that needs to 
be protected for everybody, regardless of gender, race, sexuality, and political beliefs. Just because I choose to speak out against the ethnic cleansing that my people face, which U of T is actively complicit in, by, in by investing... U of T is actively complicit in it by investing in companies that manufacture high-grade arms for an army that is that commits genocide against my people. Just because I am so loud and vocal about that does not mean I do not deserve a seat at the table at the table of academia. I am proud to be to be Palestinian. I am proud of who I am. I'm standing here today not only as a Palestinian student at U of T, but I am also here voicing the concerns and demands of everybody who is outraged by what occurred at U of T's Faculty of Law. And we demand that U of T does the following. Address and halt their censorship of pro-Palestinian faculty and staff and students. <laughs> with you life recognized Palestinian student clubs across all three campuses to organize events that initiate fair conversations about Israel and Palestine and restore Dr. Valentina Azarova's hiring offer as director of the IHRP and take the necessary steps outlined by the Canadian Association of University Teachers and censure U of T in order to lift the censure. لحن ضل نصرخ ونصرخ لغاية ما نحرر فلسطين <تصفيق>